Arches National Park is a true wonder of the American Southwest. Join us as we explore the park's breathtaking scenery, learn about its fascinating geology and history, and discover the many outdoor activities and adventures that await its visitors. Whether you're a nature enthusiast, a hiker, or simply someone who appreciates natural beauty, Arches National Park is a destination that is not to be missed. Hi everyone, I'm Amber with Greater Travel and the Arches National Park is where it's at for stunning natural arches, towering rock formations, and sweeping vistas. Arches National Park offers a wide range of activities and experiences for visitors of all ages and interests. Hiking is one of the most popular activities with trails ranging from easy walks to challenging climbs through rock formations and arches. For those who prefer to explore by car, the park has a scenic drive that takes visitors past many of its most famous landmarks. Photography is also a favorite pastime at Arches with the park's dramatic landscapes providing endless opportunities for capturing breathtaking images. In addition, visitors can enjoy ranger-led programs, stargazing, camping, and more. Whether you're looking for adventure or relaxation, Arches National Park has something for everyone. The most popular attraction at Arches National Park is undoubtedly its impressive natural arches. The park has over 2,000 documented arches, ranging in size from a few feet to over 300 feet in length. Some of the most famous arches include Delicate Arch, Landscape Arch, and Double Arch. These incredible formations are the result of millions of years of erosion and geological processes, and they provide a breathtaking backdrop for hiking, photography, and exploration. Visitors can view many of the arches from designated overlooks or take hikes to get up close and personal with these natural wonders. With their intricate shapes and vibrant colors, the arches at Arches National Park are truly a sight to behold. Safety is of utmost importance when visiting Arches National Park. The park's unique landscapes and challenging trails require visitors to exercise caution and follow proper safety guidelines. It's important to stay on designated trails and not climb on any rock formations or arches as they are fragile and can be dangerous. Visitors should also bring plenty of water and sun protection as temperatures can soar during the day, particularly in the summer months. The park's remote location also means that cell phone service can be limited, so it's important to plan ahead and let someone know your itinerary before heading out on a hike. Finally, visitors should be aware of the potential for flash floods during rainy seasons and take appropriate precautions. By following these safety guidelines, visitors can enjoy all that Arches National Park has to offer while staying safe and protected. Arches National Park is home to a variety of wildlife, including desert bighorn sheep, coyotes, foxes, and a variety of bird species. Visitors may also spot lizards, snakes, and other smaller creatures. While encountering wildlife can be an exciting experience, it's important to keep a safe distance and not disturb the animals. Feeding wildlife is strictly prohibited and can be harmful to both the animals and their natural habitats. Visitors should also be aware that some wildlife, such as rattlesnakes, can be dangerous and should be avoided. To best observe wildlife, visitors are encouraged to keep a respectful distance and use binoculars or a camera with a telephoto lens. With its unique desert ecosystem and diverse wildlife, Arches National Park provides a wonderful opportunity for visitors to experience the natural world up close. Camping is a popular way to experience Arches National Park, and there are two campgrounds within the park, Devil's Garden Campground and Willow Flat Campground. Both grounds have basic amenities like picnic tables, fire pits, and restroom facilities. However, there are no shower or laundry facilities at either campground. Reservations are recommended, especially during the busy season. For those who prefer more comfortable accommodations, there are also a variety of hotels and resorts in the nearby town of Moab. These range from budget-friendly options to more luxurious resorts, offering a range of amenities such as swimming, spas, and restaurants. Whether you choose to camp or stay in a hotel, Arches National Park and the surrounding area offer plenty of options to suit your needs and preferences. There are limited dining options within the park, but visitors can find snacks and drinks at the park's visitor center and at the Devil's Garden Campground store. 
For more substantial meals, visitors can head to the nearby town of Moab, which has a variety of dining options ranging from fast food to upscale restaurants. In Moab, visitors can find everything from pizza and burgers to Mexican cuisine and vegetarian options. The town also has several coffee shops, bakeries, and ice cream parlors. For those with families, Arches National Park offers a variety of opportunities for children to learn and explore the natural world. The park's Junior Ranger program is a popular activity for kids, providing them with an opportunity to learn about the park's geology, wildlife, and history while completing a series of fun activities. Children can also attend ranger-led programs which are designed specifically for kids and cover topics like animal adaptations, desert ecology, and nighttime exploration. In addition, there are several easy and accessible hikes that are suitable for families with young children, providing an opportunity for kids to explore the park's unique landscape and see some of its famous rock formations and arches up close. It's definitely a great place for families to learn, explore, and make memories together. In addition to children, the park offers a wealth of educational opportunities for visitors of all ages. Visitors can attend ranger-led programs and guided hikes that cover a variety of topics related to the park's geology, ecology, and cultural history. The park also offers a variety of interpretive exhibits and displays at the visitor center. Providing visitors with an opportunity to learn more about the park's unique landscapes and the people who have inhabited the area for thousands of years. The area was first inhabited by indigenous people, including ancestral Puebloans and Ute tribes, who used the area for hunting, gathering, and trading. European explorers and settlers first arrived in the area in the late 1800s, and many were drawn by the region's natural resources, including minerals and oil. In the early 1900s, the area was promoted as a tourist destination, and many visitors were drawn by the stunning rock formations and arches that are now iconic features of the park. Arches National Monument was established in 1929, and in 1971, it was designated as a national park. Today, the park attracts millions of visitors each year who come to experience its unique landscapes and learn about the area's rich cultural and natural history. For those who want to delve deeper into the park's natural and cultural history, there are several books and field guides available for purchase at the park's bookstore. Arches National Park offers a variety of shopping opportunities for visitors looking to take home a unique souvenir or locally made item. The park's visitor center has a gift shop that offers a variety of items, including books, postcards, clothing, and locally made jewelry and pottery. Visitors can also find a variety of souvenir shops and art galleries in the nearby town of Moab, which offer a range of items like rocks and minerals, Native American art and crafts, and outdoor gear. For those who are interested in supporting local businesses and artists, there are several shops in Moab that specialize in locally made items, including handmade jewelry, pottery, and other crafts. Visitors are sure to find a unique and memorable souvenir to take home from their visit to Arches National Park. When preparing for a trip to Arches National Park, it's important to consider the time of year and the pricing of activities. Visiting during peak season, which is typically from March to October, means higher prices for activities and accommodations, as well as larger crowds. Visitors can save money by visiting during the off-season, which runs from November to February, but should be aware that some activities and facilities may be closed during this time. Additionally, visitors should research the park's activities and plan their itinerary in advance to ensure availability and avoid missing out on any must-see sites. It's also important to bring appropriate clothing and gear for the season, such as sunscreen and plenty of water for hot weather and warm layers for cooler temperatures. In conclusion, Arches National Park is a spectacular destination that offers visitors a chance to explore remarkable landscapes and is a must-visit for anyone interested in geology, natural history, or outdoor adventure. Whether hiking, camping, or simply taking in the awe-inspiring views, visitors to Arches National Park are sure to have an unforgettable experience. If you like this video and you want to see more similar content, subscribe to Greater Travel and click the bell to be notified when future videos are uploaded. Be sure to leave a comment about your experience at Arches National Park, if you've been before, or something you look forward to on your future visit, and we will do our best to respond your, to your comment. Thanks for watching. Come back next time to discover your journey.